Hello, in this video, I will introduce the Lagrange multiplier test, which is used to determine whether random effects are significant in panel data model. We will show you how to perform it step by step on our panel data, from which we presented the results in our article, published on Sustainability Review in 2019. In 1980, Briesk and Pagan developed a Lagrange multiplier test for random effects, so this test is also called Briesk Pagan Lagrange multiplier test. The test helps us choose between random effects model regression and pooled OLS regression. The null hypothesis of the Lagrange multiplier test assumes that, the random effects are not significant, and they can be excluded from the model without a substantial loss of information. Conversely, the alternative hypothesis suggests that, the random effects are indeed essential and contribute significantly to the overall model fit. The LM statistic follows a chi-square distribution with one degree of freedom, because we are testing for one measure only, the variance of random effects term. If we reject the null hypothesis using this test, we conclude that the random effects are significant in the model, and the use of the random effects model is appropriate. We will show you how to implement the Lagrange multiplier test on our panel data, that includes 434 year observations of 62 provinces as entities of our sample, each province has 7 year observations. Our research aims to study the relationship between foreign direct investment and sustainability at provincial level, in a developing host country such as Vietnam, in the period between 2010 and 2016. Now, we perform the Lagrange multiplier test in STATA, for choosing regression model for our panel data of Vietnam provinces. The Lagrange multiplier test is applied after estimating the random effects model. So, firstly, you need to set STATA to handle panel data, by using the command XT set. Type the command here. Note that STATA distinguishes capital letters, so you must type exactly the variable name. Or you can click this command on the status menu by avoiding typing errors. In this case, ID represents the entities that is Vietnam provinces, and year represents the time variable. Now that the panel data has been handled, we can proceed to run the random effects model, using the static command xtreg, with the dependent variable ANS and 13 variables, including 11 independent variables and 2 control variables in our panel data. Type the command here. Note that the option RE should be chosen for the fixed effects model. Or you can click this command on the status menu by avoiding typing errors. Now, we implement the Lagrange multiplier test, for choosing between random effects model or pooled OLS regression, by typing the command xt test 0. Type the command here. The results show variance of the error terms, chi square value and p value and the results show the following on the screen. We can see that the result of this test is significant, as it indicates that the random effects model is appropriate, thereby rejecting the pooled OLS model. We finish here the presentation. Thanks for your views and subscription to our channel. And see you in the next video.